Should you be wearing weighted clothes like Goku? The warriors of Dragon Ball Z are famous for their intense training tools. Some of their spaceships are outfitted with gravity multipliers when the pull of a planet simply isn't enough gas for them gains. They slow down time itself with hyperbolic chambers when there simply aren't enough days before a big beatdown. But maybe the most famous DBZ training tool is a simple one. If you wanted to get souped up like Goku, should you wear weighted clothes. Weighted clothing made its debut all the way back in the 80s in the original Dragon Ball manga and anime. The clothes are as basic as boots, wristbands, headgear, and t-shirts, weighing many kilograms that are worn all day and act to increase a user's effective weight while training. Removing these weighted clothes can also instantly boost the power levels of a user. You can go to the nearest sports store and pick up more or less the same equipment right now, but will it give you strength and speed gains like Goku? First of all, how massive are Goku's weighted clothes? Well, the best example that we can put numbers to is in episode 140 of Dragon Ball when Goku is fighting Tien. Needing an extra burst of speed, Goku starts removing his weighted clothes. Two boots, each weighing 20 kilograms, a heavy t-shirt, and then two wristbands. Yamcha, picking up the wristbands and the shirt, says that he is holding at least 100 kilos, which brings the grand total for all of Goku clothing to at least 140 kilograms, over 300 pounds. Get that crap out of here, Krillin. No one wants you here. If Goku was looking to increase his power level through simulating high gravity, then his clothes would be doing a really good job. Canonically, Goku is less massive than I am, even though he is ripped out of his mind from head to tippy toe. But hey, canon is canon. So if you added another 100 kilograms onto his mass, he would weigh as much as he would on the surface of Jupiter, laboring under an oppressive two and a half Gs. Ah, it is cold out here. It's like I'm in a Frieza. You could go to a sports store right now and buy 140 kilograms worth of weighted clothing to put up on your person. But while the boots and the wristbands will probably be similar to what we see Goku wear, the t-shirt will not because I do not think a material exists on earth that is dense enough. I'm going to assume that if Goku's boots were each 20 kilograms and his wristbands were probably also around 20 kilograms just to have everything balanced, which makes his shirt alone a solid 60 kilograms. Because Goku is my size, again, I know, ridiculous, but that's what the canon says, I measured my blue undershirt for the total surface area and the depth. And if you want the shirt to still be something like a shirt, I'm gonna assume that it is maybe 50% fabric and 50% whatever is adding all that mass. So divide 60 kilograms by half the volume of the t-shirt and you find that to be the correct mass, whatever is making Goku's t-shirt so heavy has to be at least a third as dense as the core of the sun. And even if you assume that the t-shirt is 100% exotic material, it would still have to be denser than the densest known natural substance on Earth, osmium, to put the correct Ginyu force on you. <laughs> so we probably can't make Goku's special t-shirt, but you can still buy a more conspicuous weight vest and ankle and wrist weights. So is there a super benefit to wearing weighted clothes all the time? That is surprisingly difficult to say. Do any kind of online search for the efficacy of weighted clothing and you will run right into the multi-billion dollar marketing machine that is personal weight loss and fitness. You will have to deflect meaningless personal anecdotes, obviously paid for product reviews and conflicting information from fitness experts. But if you can make it through all of that, there are some scientific studies that we can scan, although they number much fewer than you know, a rudimentary search that I did turned up just six. 
The studies that I could find evaluated wearing a weighted vest all of the time, like Goku might, across a number of weeks, testing participants on a number of agility-based tasks like running, sprinting, jumping, and push-ups. Now, if living, training, and fighting in weighted clothing all the time and then removing it could seriously increase your power level, then you would expect large effects in these studies. But the results are incredibly underwhelming. Both the sprinting and running times decreased by less than a second within a margin of error. The number of push-ups that a person could do after training in a weight vest for weeks all of the time increased by less than 10. Their vertical leap increased by just 10 centimeters or under four inches. One of the authors of one of these studies, smart boy Timo Rantalainen, no, it needs to, that's better, concluded this way. The effectiveness of wearing a weighted vest all the time and training in it is only good for slight improvements in agility. And because the effects are so small, you should only be wearing weighted clothing during training and not all of the time. These studies examined weight vests specifically and so minor gains in leg and core strength make sense. What hypergravity training effectively does is increase your weight as though you were standing on a planet with a higher surface gravity. And so if you were walking around with a weighted vest, your legs and your core would have to provide more force in opposition to the reactionary force the Earth is putting on you from standing on it. And that increased force is bound to build up your lower muscles at least a bit. Right now, the force in your legs is the only thing keeping the Earth from crushing crumpling you against itself. Oh no, wait, no, he's fine. He's always fine. If wearing a weighted t-shirt is likely only minorly beneficial some of the time, what about wearing ankle and wrist weights like Kakarot? What did I say, Krillin? Huh? You want this again? Hmm? Sorting out the efficacy of ankle and wrist weights is even more difficult than it is for weight vests. I could not find any applicable studies, but what I did find were numerous internet threads, quotes from doctors, and anecdotes from martial artists. Now, anecdotes are not data, but at least everything that I found said exactly the same thing. Wearing ankle and wrist weights all the time, especially if you are kicking and punching like Goku, is a bad idea. The reasoning behind this is actually pretty simple. Rotational force or torque is equal to force multiplied by perpendicular distance. And so if you are weighting down the ends of your limbs, it's going to create large rotational forces at the pivot points of your body. And so if you are trying to normally kick and punch like Goku, except with weighted limbs, you are likely to dangerously overload your muscles, ligaments, and tendons with rotational forces they aren't used to using weight compensated techniques that they are not familiar with. So if wrist and ankle weights are likely to be good for anything in martial arts training, they're gonna be good for slow, deliberate movements against gravity so that you are creating real resistance in your muscles and not just dangerous torque. But that kind of training is just normal strength training. And so everything that I could find says that if you're gonna use wrist and ankle weights Goku style, you should either be supremely careful and not walk, jump, run, kick around like Goku does, or don't use them at all. I warned you. And keep in mind, almost all of the weighted clothing that we have evaluated so far have weighed less than 10% of the body weight of the user. Goku's weighted clothing was well over 100% of his body weight, like he lived on the surface of Joop Joop. And so these proportions would only exacerbate all of the problems that come along with wearing weighted clothing all of the time. Look, I am not saying that weighted clothing has no value. Here I am on a rock wall with a weight vest weighing 20% of my body weight, so I must think that it can be beneficial. What I am saying is that weighted clothing has very narrow value, not general value like Goku and Piccolo and the other DBZ characters get. And it can come along, especially when you increase the weight with a lot of dangerous downsides. In an attempt to show just how obesity can stress the human body, this fitness dude put on about the same amount of weight that Goku's weighted clothes have, and he almost died while trying to walk just a few kilometers. Oh.
So, for the sake of training and increasing your power level, should you be wearing weighted clothing all the time like Goku? I don't think so. Not only have scientific studies not found any major benefits, wearing wrist and ankle weights all the time has a serious potential to injure you and change your gait and your balance enough that what you gain is joint pain, not brawly bashing muscle. And if all that wasn't enough, removing all that clothing is not gonna instantly make you stronger. If anything, it's just gonna remind you what fighting normally felt like with whatever power you had remaining. Key ain't free, because science. I did a back of the envelope calculation on how strong Captain America is when he bicep curled the helicopter, and he was bicep curling about 2,000 pounds. In Dragon Ball Z, Goku puts 10 ton weights on his arms and he can move them dangerously, like I mentioned, which means that he is at least uh, five to 10 times stronger than Captain America. Go ahead, you can comment. Thank you so much for watching, Timothy. If you like this video and you're on Facebook, like it. And if you like this video and you are on YouTube, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because we get up to a lot of nerdy stuff on this channel like vlogs and live streams and you won't want to miss it. If you want more of me, you can go back to Nerdist.com or Project Alpha at ProjectAlpha.com where you can get this show two days earlier than anyone else and you can get other premium content like Natural Selection, which is a very fun debate show that I do with my friend Dan Casey. Please follow Because Science on these and me. Thank you. Bye-bye.